the global chip shortage is over. Well, maybe not as much as we'd like to say it is, but as you can see, GPUs are flooding the marketplace and we're on the eve of a new GPU generation. This will cost you hundreds of dollars, if not thousands. Hello. I like money. And if you look at what the 40 series is costing, you're looking at 1600 US dollars for a 4090. It's a lot of money. But of course, you may just want to look into older but powerful video cards. Hey, it's Joel, and I have one question for you. Will a more powerful Quadro still allow you to play all your favorite games? Or are you going to struggle and beg for a new shiny GPU? Today, we'll find out. But first, before you do that, if you can go ahead and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe, that would be fantastic. On with the video. If you recall, in my last video on Quadros, we looked at the Quadro M2000, which I picked up for 100 Canadian tire dollars. It was a really good deal. Now it did all right, but when I was offered a trade for my Radeon RX 6600 and $200 on the buyer's side for a Quadro M4000, I was like, mm, this is a pretty interesting proposition. Now with hundreds of new GPUs hitting the market and mining just effectively dropping, you now have your pickings of what GPU you want. And when GeForce cards are cheaper and more powerful, does a Quadro make substantial sense for the average gamer? Well, simply put, depending on the price, it might just hold you over until 40 series cards are readily available. While the M2000 didn't require any external power, this simple M4000 does require six pin power. And if you don't want to use adapters to get that power using SATA or Molex, you're going to need a better power supply. And when it comes to these office PCs, this doesn't make as much sense as the M2000 did. But if it did have that external power, it'd be perfect for it. Here's the thing. If it sounds like I'm being negative, I'm honestly not. I'm actually really impressed by the performance of this card. You can overclock it and you can play your AAA games at 1080p or even your favorite indie games. But please don't take my word for it. Let's look at the performance together. Decide if you want to roll the dice.
This M4000 has been a great card. And the only reason I got it is because I only game on weekends because I don't have time to game. I enjoy video editing and I was blown away by the performance of Quadro for my machine. And of course, comparative to that previous video, we've got some pretty good specs. So it's not a neck and neck comparison to that last video. It's an upgraded sequel, if you will. And this card, as I mentioned, is sold. And I replaced it with a GTX 1060, six gig that I got for $110. When I got this card, the plan was keep it till next year. But then the 1060 came up and I'm like, you want $110? Not bad at all. Do I regret buying this card? No, I made a few videos, had some fun, and now it's time to go on to the next person who wants it. If you're willing to spend a little bit of money, you can get a card that works fine. Because having that eight gig frame buffer or limit is absolutely wonderful, but you might not even hit, hit that limit most games because again you're dealing with effectively a gtx 965 as iceberg tech has put it gtx 970s are now like a hundred dollars me getting 200 dollars cash in a video card for my rx 6600 i basically made 300 dollars on my card i'm not going to complain about that my name is joel thanks for watching this video and i will see you in the next one